the scientists yesterday on the, the espionage act, how does it threaten the work that you do and other journalists do? Well, this is a thing that, that's really interesting about this case is that uh, when it comes to the corporate news media, when it comes to independent media, unfortunately, both of these domains uh, have been extremely lacking when it comes to covering the Assange hearing. And uh, you would think that journalists would be the first people in line they would, to, to be up in arms about what's happening in this courthouse behind me, uh, in this uh, mockery that is uh, standing behind me, which is uh, truly an imperialist institution. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't get more imperialist than this. You know, they, they are persecuting a man who exposed their war crimes, and that's the sole reason. You know, he, he as Noam Chomsky put it in his witness statement, he evaporated their power by putting their crimes in the sunlight. And so, it's an extreme, it's an extreme grave threat to independent media, especially like myself, because we rely on documents published by WikiLeaks, we, we rely on the information that they publish to, to expose what governments keep secret on purpose, right? It's never about national security, it's about the security of the elites, it's about the security of the corporations and making sure that people are not aware of the crimes being committed because were they to become aware, they would, they would be up in arms. And so there, there's, a, there's a really concerted effort on the part of uh, the media, on the government, and unfortunately I'm seeing it in independent media as well, to not report about this, to not report about foreign policy in general and about what's happening in the global south. And this is gonna have extreme Grave ramifications and far-reaching implications on freedoms of press. You know, this is—it's not the first time they go after journalists. But let's not kid ourselves here. They're always repressing real journalists, and they're always repressing people who expose war crimes. But the legal precedent that this will set, if they are actually able to convict Julian Assange of the United States, is extremely harrowing. And everyone should be up in arms about this. Not just journalists. Anyone who has the bare minimum of compassion and empathy towards the victims of these imperialist wars in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in, in Syria, in, in Somalia, all over the global south should be up in arms about this. Because Julian Assange is a hero and the work of WikiLeaks is of extreme power.